okay so now i'm going to set up the database credential so here just open the env file you need to also set up this uh, debug to false and this should be production but i'm not going to do this right now because i'm going to first check its connection and if it's work perfectly then i will do this uh, production things okay first i'm going to set its password so what would be the password so simply copy it from here make sure to not copy any of the space paste it here then this would be the our username and database name so simply paste it here paste it here and this port is fine you don't need to change this out this also db host is also fine uh, hosting that accept this uh, this uh, 127 are local host okay and if you are on the different server so make sure to copy its uh, proper host to address okay and then we are using the mysql so that's why this connection is also fine so save this one and now this will throw not the database access issue it will throw that table not found something like this give it a refresh and yes base table or view not found because we haven't any table in our database right so now i'm going to execute my uh, command to migrate my database and see some basic uh, uh, like uh, users values in the database so how i can do this so simply go here and i'm going to now run the ssh access so just go here ssh access okay in this way you can access your uh, ssh so i'm gonna you need to download a party software so you simply type here party okay hit enter click on this download party download party and then there are variety of things so you can review it to what's your suitable and also check your operating system what is your operating system and then also check your bit that uh, you know is it 32 bit or 64 and then you can download this party dot exe 64 something like this so just download this one right so i downloaded this same okay now I run your party here okay open the party app and here uh, just come back here uh, here you can enter these information right you need a password which you set and then username and then this uh, ip address or you can directly copy this link to access your party right and make sure to this ssh status uh, should be enabled if this will be disabled right inactive so this wouldn't work so let's take eye on this and i will also turn this off whenever i will complete this uh, series okay uh, just get rid of this one i don't want to use these information i want to access it using the terminal so open your cmd or git bash i'm going to run this as an administrator okay here and simply go here and paste your link hit enter you pasted the link and yes now it's asking you to enter your password right your as uh, your uh, ssh password so i'm going to enter my password okay so whenever you are entering your password right so your password will be hidden so you will not to uh, able to visit the you will not able to see the password so simply enter the password and hit enter no file or directory connection to this was closed right so it's saying that it's closed so now i'm going to turn this on right so now this will not throw this exception okay simply uh, turn this uh, again put this out and enter the password I'm going to retype my password here hit enter and this will yes now I'm able to access my terminal and it's now open the uh, default page so if I want to clear this simply type this clear here and just type ls so you will see that in which directory you are so now i'm in the public directory so i'm going to move into uh, into the public directory public public html cd is used for change directory and yes i'm inside the now public so press ls 
and still we need to visit another public directory to access the file i don't know how, why these are two directory two public directory uh, but anyway these are there in the hostinger so just simply press this ls to view your file in which directory and this one is the cdl projects so and i want to uh, go inside the cdl projects then i want to go inside the laravel demo hit enter and then here if you press this ls and yes we are inside our laravel application right and now here i'm going to execute my database stuff so simply uh, clear the above stuff i'm going to make this little bit more bigger for you okay so here simply run this so php artisan migrate so this will uh, migrate your database but i want to also seed my database so i'm going to add the seed command to hit enter yes it's migrating my files uh, user id into application table wait for a moment because we are in the production uh, we are on the server okay and if you are on the server and you turn on the production in the env like uh, app debug to false and uh, app um, um, and, uh, um, what would be the value of this one if you turn this app env local to production right so it will not allow you to it will ask you so do you want to still ex, uh, execute this in the production so if you want to skip this error so you can add the force flag like this so, uh, php altison migrate migrate hmm, force force flag to not ask you to do you want to allow this on the do you want to execute this on the production right so it will not ask you again and again okay it's running and let's go ahead and give it a refresh i think this table will be available position and yes our application is uh, working fine and still it's uh, uh, executing this uh, these tables but uh, i'm loading the application um, application i think application stable data this one is created so that's why i'm able to see this one right so if anyone want to apply this one so they will go to the next page and then they will log in and then so on things right so this is my application which is connected with the database uh, in this way you can execute multiple commands here whatever command you want to execute you can execute the composer commands you can execute the artisan commands and so on things you can also execute the custom commands too so if you are facing any issues so shoot the shoot them into the comments box so i will help you to resolve this issue or you can simply post it on our this website solutions.cdlcell.com so my uh, me and my team is responding to these questions regularly so we will get the answer so this one is also solved this one is solved answered solved solved right so we'll also get answer free of course if you need the premium help so you can click on this instant help and get to uh, the help from us Thank you so much for watching the video and if you think that this adds some value into your life, subscribe to the channel and I will meet you in the next one. Bye bye.